Hello my friends, it's me, it's Buck Weezer, Buck Small Engine DIY on YouTube, where we put the do into do-it-yourself, and today I've got a video for you with a cost-effective and simple solution to that problem of the perpetually flat lawn tractor tire. So stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. When you come out to mow the grass and the, top, and the tire is flat on your lawn tractor and every time you want to mow, you've got to inflate that tire. It gets to be a real pain. I am here with my 1998 Scott's lawn tractor and I had this problem where the, the tires were always going flat. They just stopped holding air after a while. What are your options? Um, you could get some of that slime stuff you know, that you put in the tire. I, I never like using that. Some people try automatic transmission fluid. I, I've never tried that to seal a leaking tire. Uh, you could take it to a shop, but that will cost you time and money. You could get one of those mini tire changing tools from Harbor Freight Tools. I've got one of those actually, and it's, it's kind of a lot of work. Uh, you could put inner tubes in your tires, but you know what? You pretty much have to take the tire off the to insert a tube anyway and so it gets to be expensive and challenging so I've got a solution thanks to the Vivor people they sent me a product to try out and I want to try it out with you a quick and easy solution where you replace not just the tire but the tire hub and wheel assembly complete and with one click of the mouse you can have two of them sent to your house okay, let's see what we got Sweet. Wow. These are great. <clears throat> so here's one. And there's two. And there's nothing else inside the box. Got a set of two of these from the Vivor people. I'm really happy to try it out. Uh, because I think it's a common problem and an easy solution. Um, beyond getting the product at no cost and not receiving anything for making this vi video except the product itself, and I'm eager to try it out. All right, so here we are. We got to jack the tractor up just a little bit to get it off the ground, and here's our tire. So while we're looking at this, I want to tell you a story. True story. <laughs> I had these. I've had this problem, the tire wouldn't hold air, so I decided to put an inner tube in it. And everything went great until such a time as I went to inflate the tire. And after inflating it, the valve stem from the inner tube slipped back inside the wheel irretrievably, never to be seen again. So now, even though I've got an inner tube in there and it's holding air for the time being, I can't inflate it, can't deflate it if I wanted to, I can't access it anymore. So. That's just a true confession of my own frustration, which is why I'm particularly excited with this uh, opportunity we have to try out these new tire and wheel hub assemblies from the Vivor people. So let's take off the clip. You might have a plastic cover on, on the top of yours that can come off. And then a C-clip, and then a washer, and then the wheel comes off. Pretty easy. Now, the tires that we got, the wheel hubs that we got from the Vivor people will fit a variety of hub sizes. And I think I got three quarter inch hubs. You might have half inch or five eighths. And you'll use the, the, the bushings that come with the tire depending on the diameter of your axle shaft. So let's clean this up first. Not a lot of grease in here, was there? And now let's take a look at our uh, tire and wheel hub assembly. See this okay? So we got to cut this cable to release the uh, hardware that comes with it. When you click on the link that I'll leave in the description, 
uh, you're going to select the size tire that you need as well as the correct tire hub. So mine is an offset hub. So you can see it doesn't stick out far on this side, but it does on this side. So this is an offset hub. Make sure you choose the right uh, setup for yourself. So I've got these sleeves that would be used if you got a 5 8 or is it bigger than that? So I just have to remove these and I'm ready to put the slide it on. Now I might have a washer in here. We we're going to clean this better, weren't we? Okay. Uh, might have a washer in there and you get a couple of washers that come with your wheel in case you need to use them as well. You'll notice the one side of the hub has the grease zerk so you can uh, uh, put uh, shoot some grease into there. My grease gun is currently in storage. But I do have some premium heavy duty grease that we can put on there. Just for the time being. Don't want to go without any grease at all. So let's just slide the wheel into place and then we'll see if we need to use any of these extra washers or spacers. That's pretty good. You can see that this is just a, you know, plug and play. Take the old one off, put the new one on. Really, really easy installation. And I will have to get my grease gun out, but for the time being, this will. This will get the job done for us, I think. Clip that into place, and we're good to go. Now, if you've got a, if you've got a. Uh, cap that would go on there too. Mine didn't have caps. They originally had hub caps, but they were plastic and broken. I don't have them anymore. And uh, that's it. It's on. Okay, yeah, I gotta do the same on the other side. But that is probably the easiest, easiest flat tire solution that I can imagine. And really an inexpensive way, an easy way, well within the reach of any DIYer. You know, before I let you go, I showed you how easy it is. I still have to install the one on the other side. It takes, what, five minutes, ten minutes? I wanted to talk to you about price. The set that I just installed that we got, and I didn't pay for them, but if you were to click on the link in the description, it costs you $69.99 on Amazon to buy two of them. Not one, but two. So I decided I'd go online and just compare, you know, just check out the competition. Um, to show you what a good deal that is. For instance, if you could go to Tractor Supply, uh, they have the Arnold Universal Tire and Wheel Hub Replacement Kit, number 493250012, and that's $62.99 each. That's for one wheel assembly, one tire, plus tax, of course. And that, that's like, uh, let's try Home Depot. They have a high run ABS 1088 wheel tire assembly, $61.29 each. Um, you could go to Lowe's, they have a marathon tire and replacement, $79.53 each. But these two from the Vivor people, you get two of them for $69.99 delivered to your door. So can't really beat that and the only reason I looked up the competition because I wanted to show you that this really is uh, uh, a good deal and you saw how easy it is to install now my only complaint is I don't think the yellow wheel goes 
real good with my orange tractor. What do you think? However, if you've got one of the John Deere's, the L series, L A series, D series, E series, that you got this is gold. This is gonna look like original. And it's got a nice tread on here. I'm really happy about it. I really am. Alright, my friends, again, I'm not making anything off of this. It's just I, I just think it's a great product. You say, well, that fever, that stuff's made in China. Where do you think all of this stuff is made? It's made in China. Uh so give the Vivor a shot, and you've got an easy DIY solution to that perpetually flat uh, lawn tractor tire. Have a great mowing season, guys. Thanks for watching. Your comments and questions in the discussion below are always appreciated. And remember, only you can put the do and do it yourself. I'll see you next time.